Welcome to Say Geek Excel 2003 Tips and Tricks. Today I would like to talk to you about conditional formatting. Conditional formatting basically looks at a set of information and can change the way something looks based on that information. So for instance you'll see we've got a small little inventory sheet here. We have the inventory item, how much we have in stock, and then how much uh, the threshold for which we need to reorder that stock. So one of the things we might want to do, especially if this is a very large sheet, is we may want this Excel to notify us that we have stock that needs to be reordered. Like in this instance here, if we hadn't ordered the socks, we're supposed to keep nine in stock and we've only got five, so that may be an issue. So what I'd like to do is show you a way to use conditional formatting. Uh, to help you with this problem. Select the cell and go to format conditional formatting. So basically what we're going to do if the cell value is less than or equal to, it's just a logic statement, and I'm going to pick 9. I'll hit enter. You'll notice what I did. There's a little cell picker, picker right there. When you click on that and you can click on the cell and hit enter so basically what we're saying is if this if this cell here is less than the reorder cell then we're going to condition it we're going to come up with a format so I'm going to say let's go with a color I'm going to go with red and I'm going to hit OK now you'll notice since that says 5 and it's less than this it, it automatically made that red so you would know visually that you should reorder the stock Now, if I change that to 10 you'll notice it goes back to normal so let's take a look at this again we have the same instance here we have 15 in stock the reorder is 4 so that one you know we're, we're good L let's take a look here though what if we wanted to have sort of a yellow light so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to this shirts here because we're getting close to the reorder status. Let's go to format, conditional formatting. And let's go to between. So what if I want to say, okay, if the shirts get to a level that's between and we can just put values in here for instance I could say 3 to 6 so what we're saying is if the stock value is between 3 and 6 we want to set a format so I'm going to put a yellow on there so basically what we're telling you here you know this could be a visual to ourselves to say hey we're getting pretty darn close to needing a reorder you know you might want to pay attention to the sale and we can also add more than one condition if you go back to format conditional formatting I can hit add and I can also say just like we did a while ago less than or equal to and if I choose the cell picker hit the cell hit enter basically what I'm saying is now if this if five is, you know, or I'm sorry, if this in stock becomes less than two, then apply this format, and I'm gonna put red on there. Now, right now, it's not less than, but what if I change this to one? Notice it goes to red. If I change it to six, it goes to yellow. Change it to seven, we're in the good. And we could do the same with our other one that we have up here. If we go to format, conditional formatting we can add another set of conditions so if I say this is between 9 and 12 then I want to set that to yellow so right now you'll notice we've got it's yellow now if I change that to 5 it's red because we, we've gone past the reorder status so I hope that you've uh, May, may find that this conditional formatting could be a really good way to visually see 
things in Excel. There's all kinds of applications for conditional formatting and hopefully we will get into some more uh, at a later time.